Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the probability and statistics. Today we will discuss about what is the mean and the variance of the Elang distribution. How you can find that? Myself, Dr. Gant. Now, as we discussed in our last class, that is what is the Elang distribution and what is the probability density function called as the PDF of this R here. What is that? This is k and the mu are the two unknown parameters where k is my positive integers. This is greater than zero and mu is my real number. What is the case? K is re represented as a shape parameter while mu is called as the scale parameter. Also, we know that the graph of this density function with respect to this shape and scale we can see here. Now, this is the one, this is the first form of this. However, if you instead of this as a scale parameter, if you consider as a rate parameter denoted by lambda, the relation between the mu and the lambda is nothing but here then clearly you can substitute the value of the mu here, you will get this expression. So that's a very simple, once you will get the mean and variance of this, you can simply replace mu as 1 by lambda, you will get the uh, mean and variance of this here. So our target of this lecture is to find the mean and variance of this. Now in order to find that, you can see our target is to basically find ex and ex square. So in order to make the calculation simple, I will start with the e raised to power ex of r. How you can find the e x of r? As we know that the by the definition of mean, this is here. What is the f of x? This is nothing but my probability density function. So I consider the probability density function in terms of mu. If you want to consider this in terms of lambda, then you have to substitute value here. So I can substitute this f of x here. You will get this expression. Now you can see this part is they are same. Now we can integrate with respect to x. So this part is my constant. So I can take on this as a outside of this. Now, how you, do you remember that? How you can integrate this? So what, which thing come in mind whenever there is an integration from zero to infinity? This is always be the gamma integration. So what is the gamma, what is the gamma form is there? Xn minus one e raised to power minus x. So you can see this is only minus x. So what I can do is I can take x by mu as a y. So what is the value of the dx? This is mu of dy. I can substitute the value here. So what is the limit is when x is 0, what is the limit of the y? When x is 0, y is 0. When x is infinity, what is that? y is again infinity. So this means this integration is nothing but my 0 to infinity, mu of dy. And I can substitute the value of x as mu y, like here. I can substitute the value of the x as of mu y. This is here. Now you can see this is the first one mu, this is mu, so I can combine them, it will be nothing but k plus r, and one mu k will be cancelled out here, so mu r is my outside. Now do you remember that, what is that? What is the gamma form? This is e, uh, e raised to power minus x, x raised to power n minus 1. What is, the gamma, what is the integration of this? This is nothing but gamma function of n. So what is that? In this case, what is the n is? k plus r is there. Now once you will get here, now we can find the value of the ex and ex square from here. So what is that ex? What is the value of the r here? I can take r is 1 and here r is 2. So what is the value of this when r is 1? This is nothing but here. But we know that what is the k? k is nothing but my positive integer. So whenever there is a positive integer, then k plus 1 is also integer. So what is the value of this gamma function of k plus 1 for the integer like gamma function of 3, gamma function of 7. This is nothing but the 2 factorial. This is nothing but my 6 factorial. So in general, for the positive integer, gamma function of k is nothing but k minus 1. So you can substitute here. What is the value of this? If you replace k as a k plus 1, this is nothing but my k factorial upon k minus 1 factorial. So can you open them? k upon k minus 1 will be cancelled out. So it's a here. Similarly, when you substitute the value here, you will get k as a 2 for this here. How you can solve them? Again, by using this, it is nothing but my k plus 1 factorial upon k minus 1 factorial. So what is the k plus 1 is there? So I can open them as a k plus 1, k and k minus 1 will be cancelled out. So you can see for this one. So therefore, once you will get the ex and ex square, I can substitute the value here. So what is the mean is? mu k. What is the ex square is? I can substitute the value here. This is k plus 1 of k minus of mu square k square. So if you open the bracket, you can get easily as of here. You can see 
this will be cancel out so the variance is my mu square k and the mean is my mu k so you can see where k is the shape parameter and the scale parameter so what is that what we conclude that if we consider the pdf as of here where the mu is a scale parameter and k is scale parameter we get the mean as mu k variance is mu square k remember that that's the most important is the scale however if you want to consider as a rate parameter instead of this pdf if you consider here what is the difference between them is replace mu by 1 by lambda so what you can do you can substitute this value in here so once you will substitute here what is the mean and the variance if you replace mu as 1 by lambda so it will be nothing but here so remember that the only difference between them is the rate parameter and the scale parameter so whenever you are trying to do these questions remember that now the another task is what is the relation between the mean and variance how you can find the relation between mean and variance so you can see can you find any relation between them you can see if you divide them what is that if you divide them variance upon mean what is the right answer is there so that will be nothing but my mu so what is the meaning of that variance is nothing but my mu times of the mean and from here if you divide them variance upon mean what is that this is nothing but my also you can see you can simply replace mu as nothing but my here so once you will get here what is that this is variance is nothing but my mean upon this so what is the relation between them can you say that this fact since mean variance is there so whenever mu is 1 then variance is nothing but the mean when mu is greater than 1 then the variance is greater than of the mean when mu is less than 1 variance is less than of the mean so remember that mu is a scale parameter you may remember that such kind of the thing is also we explained in our exponential distribution okay so we, we always say that if you consider here if you consider k as a 1 either as this or this what are the mean is here variance is there do you remember that, that these are the mean and variance of exponential distribution yes that's true it means these are the special case on the other hand what will happen here if you consider the relation you can see variance is nothing but my mean upon lambda so if you consider the rate parameter as a less than of the one then the variance is greater than of the mean lambda is one then the variance is here and so on also you can find the correlation between them easily that is mu is nothing but my here you can see the sign are also be reversed be so remember always this rate and the scale parameters so this is the simple proof of the mean and variance are there we will see some moment generating function characteristics function and the properties of the lang distribution in our next class till then you can simply follow this link finding the videos best of flex students